Hello, this is Dr. Gay from First Sake MRI. And this is a 13-year-old female swimmer with complaints of shoulder instability. And we did an arthrogram here. And so the shoulder joint is filled with contrast, which is white. So all this white here is fluid in the joint. So an arthrogram, we go into the front of the shoulder here. You can see some of the fluid in the front. And the contrast goes into the joint up here. And it fills up the joint. And in this patient, we see a normal round humerus. The articular surface looks great. This bone over here, the scapula, looks normal. So this is the round ball. The cup it sits and rotates in. The labrum is a little black wedge that goes around the rim of this cup. The labrum looks great. The only thing we really see is that the posterior joint bulges backwards. And this line is the posterior joint capsule that comes from the humeral head over to the glenoid. And normally it will attach very close to the edge here. And it will be much smaller. In this patient, there, it attaches more medial, almost one centimeter medial to the glenoid rim. And this medial attachment and this uh, uh, laxity here, you can see how lax it is, uh, that allows for the fluid to bulge backwards. This can result in posterior shoulder joint instability. Instead of holding on really nice and tight, holding the humeral head in there, like here in the front, everything is nice and taut and tight. Here it's loose and patulous. Again, that medial attachment and this redundancy here uh, will make the shoulder joint unstable. So she has complaints of shoulder joint instability while she does some movements. And uh, this is related to this lax posterior joint capsule and the medial attachment here. And luckily, I don't see any bone abnormalities, but these patients are prone to dislocate and get bone contusions and labral tears. But uh, she's looking good in that regard now. And that's it. Thank you so much.